Uh, we got a truck show in the morning. Got a ticket to Brooks. I already checked the oil and uh, check the coolant. I had to put like a gallon of oil in it. I'm gonna do a little cold start. It's been sitting for about a month. And I gotta get this other mud flap on. I've lost this mud flap like three times now. Mostly because I'm an idiot. So I get the mud flap on today. I got new uh, drain valves on the tanks. And uh, I just gotta check the fluid and the power steering and the auxiliary leaks a little bit, especially when you drive it down the highway. So I'll check the fluid in and make sure it's happy before we leave. And we got to go about oh, 40 miles, I guess. My steering ram leaks, so I definitely got to check the power steering fluid. I made a list so I don't forget anything. But anyways, let's see if this thing starts. Nope. trying to work on stuff get mud flaps on he does not look impressed well got her all cleaned up there's a few things I want to do this winter because I'm sure this will be the last time I drive it um, number one the auxiliary it leaks Input and output shaft leak pretty good. And then that's not the real problem. That is a problem. You see, these bolts up here are loose. This bolt's loose. And then that's cracked right there. Same on the other side, except the upper bolts aren't loose, but they're. Yeah, that cross member is still cracked. So here, fix that. Figure out what I'm going to do there. The front one looked okay, but this rear one's definitely cracked. Um, I noticed when I was driving it the other day, every time that I let off the throttle really quick, the auxiliary shifter would kind of jump. You can see it in the videos. And uh, so I figured I better look into that, and that's what I found. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything to the rears. The rear pinion, the rearmost axle, the pinion seal leaks on it too, but. I think I might wait on that one to let decide whether it's going to get some later model suspension because this thing sucks to drive. Air would be nice, but I don't know. We'll see. It's getting cleaner every time I wash it. It's not so greasy underneath. And uh, So next, i got to get rid of this headache rack, the log rack. It's coming off. And the dual exhaust is coming off. And I'm going to pull the manifold off. You can see that almost every port is leaking. I can hear it when I drive it. And uh, it really bugs me. I hate exhaust leaks. And then this transfer thing from the 4 inch to the 6 inch looks goofy, so I'm going to ditch that trying to find the factory stack mount that goes there and the factory uh, air intake mount for the other side and put that back on it. Ditch all this. Probably put just a little short turnout right at the top of the cab. I want to keep it old school. I don't want to put anything newer, no crazy big pipes or anything. But So, so far, looks better. You can actually see some... Everything's not so dang greasy anymore. Wheels are all shined up as best as they're gonna go. So, all set. Let's go put some fuel in it tonight and be ready to go in the morning.